All right, guys. So we got a bunch of news, a bunch of Sonic movie news in the past week. Like so much shit has happened, and um, I haven't been able to report on any of them because I've been busy over here. You know, I've been busy with Sonic Rebound. You know, the preview and all that. So I decided, you know what? I'm just going to do a roundup video news today. So let me know what you guys think about this. Me doing Sonic movie roundup. So yeah, let's start from the top. Also, be sure to smash the like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want me to continue doing this, covering the Sonic movie news, because I'm really looking forward to the Sonic movie too. The first big thing we saw in these pictures, besides Knuckles, I'll get to him later, was the GUN pictures or gun pictures. You know, the tanks, the helicopters, everything that says gun. And I like how it says SA2 as well. I like that little Easter egg, you know, stands for Sonic Adventure 2, because that's when gun first appeared. So... You know what, I, I have an idea, a speculation of how this plot is going to go. And like with all these pictures I'm seeing, especially on Patreon, this guy who's uh, leaking a lot of pics, I think I can pretty much tell the story. I think Gun or G-U-N is going to be on the side of good throughout majority of this film. They might be working against Dr. Robotnik or something like that. Because you see a picture of the two human main characters, you know, Tom the Cop and his wife you know get one of their airplanes so i'm pretty sure they're good or they're aligned with good then towards the end they are kind of aligned with bad or evil and because you know they have a lot to do with shadow and robotnik and all that stuff i seriously think shadow is going to be teased in the end credit scene as a major character because shadow is pretty much a big deal you know he's too big and important to put in this movie we're already going to get knuckles we most likely will get metal sonic we got tails so definitely Shadow will be teased in the end, like end credit scene. I'm willing to bet on that. And uh, as for Knuckles, I mean, he looks good. I actually hope this is how he looks like in the video games because Knuckles has always been taller than Sonic, but it's always been very subtle. But in this one, you can tell he's obviously taller and he looks buffer, but it's not too exaggerated like Sonic Boom. He doesn't look like some meathead, you know, or some jock. He just looks a little taller and a little bigger than Sonic. And I like that. He actually looks like a threat. Now in the scene, you can see him with Sonic and Tails. I'm pretty sure this is by the third act. They're teaming up together. You can see them in their ball form too. Like this is iconic Sonic Heroes moment. And I'm so glad they're doing that. I'm so glad we're getting Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Remember when I kept saying Knuckles will be in the sequel and many people were denying that, were doubting me, thinking, oh, Knuckles is not going to be in it. He has to be in Sonic Movie 3 because Sonic 3 Knuckles. I'm like, guys, guys, we saw the Echidna tribe in the first movie. They supposedly killed Sonic's surrogate mom. Of course we're going to get Knuckles in the sequel, you know? So I'm glad we're going to get Knuckles, and I'm glad he's going to be on the side of good towards the end. Like I said, I seriously think Metal Sonic is going to be the villain in the third act. Because, I mean, Dr. Robotnik needs some muscle when he fights against Sonic and Tails, right? We also see Dr. Robotnik flying, and um, he didn't look like his fat, typical Dr. Eggman self. Nor did I see a huge mustache, you know, his iconic mustache on him, but this was far distant. These are paparazzi cameras, and he's wearing his black suit, so I don't know. Might be a flashback, I'm not sure. Also, that other cop, I don't know his name, but he was the supporting character that was friends with Tom the Cop. He's back as well, like there's pictures of him riding on a scooter. But yeah, all in all, this is looking very good. I cannot wait for the trailer, as what one of the writers said, the trailer is going to break the internet. And by breaking, like, I can imagine them showing Knuckles. I don't think they're going to show Shadow in the trailer, though, because he's going to be a uh, end credits type of character. But it's going to be cool. I can't wait to see that. What do you guys think about all this? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, when do you think we're going to get a trailer for this movie? I'm pretty sure we're going to get it in late summer, early fall. So we're definitely going to get this between July and September. I think they're going to try to get a teaser trailer out by the time Black Widow comes out in July, that'll be great, you know, or they can do it in September because September, hopefully things with COVID will look better. And we know we're getting another Marvel movie in September, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. So uh, they can definitely have the Sonic Movie 2 teaser trailer in September. Matter of fact, I am betting we're going to get Sonic Movie 2 teaser trailer by the time Shang-Chi comes out and is going to play right in front of that movie in theaters. That's what I think. That's going to be really good. Also, be sure to check out Sonic Rebound Preview, Episodes 5 to 7 Preview. I posted that a week ago, and it's doing pretty good. A lot of people are excited about the different twists and turns I'm taking with this, uh, you know, with this story. It's very loosely based on the IDW comics. Also, we finally started a Sonic Rebound public Discord server, so be sure to check that out and join it. Also, my merch is almost complete. Yep. 
here's the link right here you know uh been working on this with my designer right now i'm just starting out with the basics just selling hoodies beanies dad hats long sleeve shirts mugs so i just want to see how this goes if you guys support me and you like these designs be sure to show your support and purchase one of my merch when that's ready and uh, let me know um anything else you like to see me sell or if you have any ideas because i'm starting out with the basics right now but yeah finally getting this popping so let's see how it does but all right guys that's it for now so until next time i'm out